Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Calculation Manager. Calculation Manager custom defined functions. In Calculation Manager patch 11.1.2.3, 5.02 and up, there are custom defined functions that can be used in planning or S-based applications. These functions can be used in Calculation Manager rules or S-based calculation scripts. There are more than 55 Calc Manager functions in all, and new functions have been added with each new patch set update and version. These custom defined functions are automatically deployed. After applying the patch, you should see the Calc Manager CDF.jar in the SBase Server Java UDF directory. In SBase Administration Services, if you right click on your SBase Server and Edit Functions, you can see that the Calc Manager custom defined functions have already been registered and are ready to be used. In Calculation Manager, as you add a function to a script object, you can see the Calc Manager functions are available there as well. There are 29 Calc Manager date functions in version 11.124. These functions allow manipulation of dates in year, 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 month, month, day, day format. You can retrieve the current date or add days months or years to other dates. These calculation manager date functions should not be confused with the date part, date diff, and date role sbase date functions. Those functions expect dates in the epoch time format, not in the year 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 month month day day format that the calculation manager functions use. There are 30 Calc Manager text functions in version 11.124. These functions are used for text manipulation and can be used to dynamically reference other members in your outline during a calculation. You can concatenate, substring, or do various other text functions using these CDFs. There are also other Calc Manager functions. There's a Calc Manager execute encrypt maxl file, which allows us to execute a maxl script there's a Calc Manager execute MaxL script, which streams MaxL statements to the SBase server. Calc Manager log and log text can create a supplemental text log during your calculations for troubleshooting. And finally, Calc Manager MDX data copy and MDX export. These are used to export and copy data from one application to another using MDX, which is very fast. To use a calculation manager custom defined function will open up workspace and go to navigate administer calculation manager in here we'll work with the sample basic application under s base sample basic we'll right click on rules and select new and i'll call my rule cm rule one click ok calculation manager creates my rule now I can grab the script object and drag it into the pane there. A new script object is created. And now I can enter in my formula. So let's say I added a member called current date. I'll set current date equals to a function. So I'll insert a function. And we see that the category selected is all functions. We'll use this drop down box and select our custom defined functions. And now we can see all the various Calc Manager functions that are available. If we click on the Calc Manager function, we can see that it gives us an explanation of what the function does and gives us boxes to enter in the parameters for the function. Since we're looking for the current date, I'm going to choose get current date. And we can see that this function will return the current date in the year, 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 month, month, day, day format. 
I'll hit OK. And the function is entered into the rule. My calc manager current date function has been entered into the rule. I'm going to cap that off with a semicolon. Then I can click save. My rule has been saved. And then I need to deploy the rule. So I can go under actions and select deploy. This pushes the rule from Calc Manager into SBase. And now that the deployment has been successful, I can run my rule in SBase.